Welcome to the Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott, and this is dedicated to all those spirits out there who believe life is meant to be magical and fun. Here we venture to share the very mysteries of self and reality. My purpose is to help light that spark inside of you, to reawaken your sense of fascination and awe towards the world. I'm going to try to help you hack reality and unleash your potential and open unlimited possibilities of wealth, health, and relationships in your life. Thank you for joining me today. I'm delighted to do a quick book review of two books I read today. They're in relation to an interview that you'll be hearing in a coming episode, and I thought maybe this would give you a little bit of background. I'm going to be interviewing Will Pye, and it's spelled P-Y-E. Will is a wonderful writer that has written two incredible books, and I do not know why these were not on my radar. These are the, this is right in my wheelhouse. And I just loved these books. When I read them today, I burned through the first one. It's about 268 pages. The first book he wrote was called Blessed with a Brain Tumor, realizing it's all gift and learning to receive. And then the second book is called the is Gratitude Prescription. And these books entail two really massively important concepts to the reality revolution and to reality creation and law of attraction. We talk a lot about gratitude, but sometimes, sometimes it's just, that's just a word that we throw out, but there is some detail and variation and art to gratitude. Gratitude is incredibly powerful and it can transform your health and your life. And the journey that Will Pye went through is unbelievably amazing. I recommend these books. Just go out to Amazon and check these out. He, in 2011, was diagnosed with a golf ball-sized brain tumor. And after choosing not to have surgery, had had a seizure. And he really captures that feeling that you get of fear and of concern and worry and and all of the different thought processes that you would go through if you had been diagnosed with a brain tumor. I really couldn't imagine. The reason I found this so powerful for me is it reminded me a little bit of my own journey on a different track. I had a near-death experience where I was almost killed and afterwards I had this incredible gratitude and a realization that I was given a second chance and I felt a lot of that resounding and resonating in these books. And in many ways, I believe this material came to me for a reason. And one of the reasons is to get this out to you. If you can delicately craft the art of gratitude, you can change your life. Now, the first book is not just about gratitude. It really tells his story, uh, but it's broken into two parts and it talks about receiving and uh, the idea of gifts. And he is... It's very similar in reality transurfing. We talk about advantage in Tufti the Precess. They talk about this idea that you look at everything as if there is, it is an advantage to you. And it's a similar framework we're talking about. What he's done on a very specific and personal level, gone through what he calls the seven gifts in giving his story about his own brain tumor. And he talks about these gifts, the gifts of love, of surrender, of death, of guidance, of purpose, of co-creativity, and of oneness. And perhaps in another episode, we'll go deeper on this stuff because there's really no way I could go through all of the information that he talks about. But I just, you know, there's several exercises, activities, and meditations that are discussed in both that are very powerful, a little bit unique, and I found them very good. I've used some things that are similar and I'm very excited to use some of these techniques and I will be talking about them. But the idea is sometimes the pain that we experience or these incredible incidents in our life, they're gifts. And the the wisdom of knowing that this was a gift may have released the energy that was feeding this brain tumor for Will Pye and he the way he outlines his process and his experience was pretty amazing. He talks about in the 
first chapter about the gift of love, about receiving love, about the experience of receiving and goes into detail about that and about choosing love and being love and really gives this chapter is really well done in explaining the gift and receiving of love and how it relates to everything. Uh, some really great questions that he asks. Another great thing about these books is they're littered with some great quotes. Uh, you will enjoy reading these books. The second chapter is on the on, on the gift of surrender and the idea of and he gives some allegories and idea of surrender and goes on to explain very well about it in surrender in action and gives some examples of different uh, you know like different people that have, that have surrendered and surrendered to surrendering and has some questions that you can ask yourself to alter your reality one of my favorite chapters in the book was the gift of death and it was just something i had not considered but it's just the he really gives a good ex- explanation of accepting the the gift of death and the way that this elicits relaxation this acceptance it can improve your health this acceptance of death this fear of death can actually make you sick and the 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 gift of death and accepting it is a wonder in facing death we discover it to be a gift and asking such questions we access the gift of guidance and we, we all know that it's certain it's timing is uncertain so what is important in the now and it helps you to kind of capture the moment that you're in and it gives a, an increasing emphasis on living in joy loving what you're doing and spending time with people that you love and how you can change yourself in your life in that manner he talks about the gift of guidance and gives different examples of guidance all the way from synchronicity to different examples in relation to his story and in synchronicities in for, in, in his particular case in related to owls we all have different kind of synchronicities that occur but by using these synchronicities it is guidance and he has a really good delicate way of explaining the way that we are guided a lot of different material on intuition and guidance is not very clear about the distinctions and how to tell and he does a pretty good job of the way he used these synchronicities in his life he talks about the gift of purpose and i you know i've talked about that before he does a very good job of why the having a purpose is important the great thing about his writing is he is it's well researched there's a lot of quotes there's a great bibliography in these books and it's not just him talking about you know just about his experience he is citing facts and research and literature these are solid reads and i recommend them then there is the gift of co-creativity and the the magical of thinking and it, and in this he kind of talks about the law of attraction a little bit and then there's the gift of oneness and you can see how the the experience of having this brain tumor lifted his vibration you can really see it in the transition in the book from the beginning to end there's an incredible awakening that he goes through and it's very powerful and i think that in the process of reading this you kind of share in his awakening it's it's visceral uh and then he has seven invitations and in claiming that it's you know everything that we ha- go through is an opportunity uh, and he really puts into perspective different things that can happen to you and how and then the he talks about the accessing your inner guidance system which Abraham talks about and gets it gives you an idea of using your feelings as an inner guidance system the feelings that you have he's bringing all kinds of examples from Advaita Vedanta the law of attraction course in miracles Zen Buddhism in his work some of it is new stuff that you have not heard of and some of the exercises that he has and the uh, the meditations that he recommends are pretty powerful and i really can't wait to apply some of this stuff and you might hear some of this stuff seeping into my meditations he has a, a great chapter about falling in love with yourself uh, a lot of this stuff sounds simplistic but when you read it from his perspective and with his writing it becomes a lot more profound 
and he's really good at capturing some five minute meditations with questions and things that help you to release different things. He has a chapter on surrender disempowerment that's really interesting and preparing for death and in the process how you gain gratitude for the life that we're living and he has a great gratitude exercise in you know writing out your, your what you're grateful for and finding a way to access what he calls radical gratitude and i've talked about radical forgiveness in previous episodes but this is just as important and that's this radical gratitude and it's finding gratitude even in the most extreme things and what he's saying and this is coming from somebody that has faced death on a permanent and regular basis being told that he was going to die from a brain tumor and it really gives you a way to live your life and get get rid of this deathbed stuff that some of us go through and so that you can live the right kind of life he talks about upgrading our stories becoming aware of the stories that we're telling ourselves there's a long checklist of exercises and analysis that is really well done in this blessed with a brain tumor book and I can't recommend it enough and I read this very quickly because I was going to be interviewing I can't wait to read it again and so I recommend it and the next book that I just highly recommend is his book the gratitude prescription I think that I think really when after reading this book with me personally when I get an author and I like their first book I will usually stretch out and get to the second book and when in the, in the second book if the second book is as good you know this is going to be one of those authors that you're going to read everything that they read he's coming from a unique perspective of course there's a bunch of literature with people that have survived terrible things and some of it's really good and we can learn from these experiences and sometimes the, these experiences are brought into our vibration and we become aware of them for a reason I don't know why but Will has come into my vibration and I am communicating this to you someone out there that's listening to me this stuff might become incredibly powerful you know Body Zealand talks about the power of gratitude and finding an advantage in the things that are happening in your life and how that can literally lead you to to, to move into a completely different reality and this is proof in the pudding of the way that works and he is giving his own specific example as if you had been how do you survive such an incredible situation emotionally because what happens you think that you're going to die how do you survive that how do you go through this process of having this brain tumor and so I do I would call will after reading these books an advance somebody who is advanced in gratitude a lot of times when we listen to law of attraction books we go back to watch the secret the first time it came out and of course they're talking about gratitude they have the rocks that remind people of gratitude and a lot of exercises and techniques that law of attraction coaches have are really nothing more than reminding us of being grateful and dr joe dispenza talks about gratitude as a signature for that thing that you want you would feel grateful if you got that thing that you really want that that signature if you can actually find that way that feeling of gratitude you start to broadcast it out and you bring things into your alignment that are in sync with that gratitude energy and so we may kind of brush it off when we talk about gratitude and we don't take it seriously enough. And I'm telling you from my own personal experience, if you're in doubt about what to do next, if you have a situation that's incredibly difficult for you to overcome, if you are in a situation where you doubt that this stuff works, just choose to be grateful. And that can be hard. You might be in a tough situation right now. Someone listening to this might believe that their life is is over or hopeless or something terrible has happened that cannot be resolved or there's no hope and it's just not true you can choose to be grateful and he gives examples of finding gratitude in the harshest and most difficult of circumstances 
by reading this book, it gives you a little bit better perspective on how to go through the, the, the process of the formula to take events and situations and turn them into a grateful situation. There is a calculus to this. There is a power to this and learning the algorithm of the advantage. You can change everything. And he's giving a prescription for gratitude. The word prescription is important in this book. It's specifically used just like a doctor gives you a prescription. Um, Shouldn't doctors be doing this more often? Go to the doctor and they write on the slip two aspirin and some gratitude and call me in the morning. That's going to work even better than two aspirin. So I just, you got to read his book and he gives some really good examples on how gratitude can, can give you uh, some positivity. He gives some very good affirmations that are simple, but when built upon the text that he's, he, they, the simplicity of them becomes their power. And a lot of ways it can shift you into positivity. When you read the book, when you start using some of his affirmations, they will retain more power. And he has some very specific um, meditations, uh, how tuning in, how to, how the world's views feel being positively changed and an excellent exercise on linking positivity to gratitude, differentiating positivity and gratitude, and then linking them together, providing a richer, more powerful, emotional burst to your gratitude, uh, changing your brain by making it a habit. And he gives some good research and studies on making, not only being grateful about things that happen in the moment or in the situation, but, but making it a continuous habit. A lot of techniques that you hear from coaches are going to be on how to instill this gratitude habit. And simply by reading his book, you will tune in to this energy and idea of the criticality of being grateful. And it's something that I've slacked off on. Of course I'm grateful and I I can go through a list of being grateful from everything from breathing to the socks on my feet. But sometimes we forget and that is important to continually embrace this gratitude. This gratitude is powerful and it is magic. You don't need to go and do some complicated magical ceremony and calling upon spirits. Gratitude is more powerful than that. And it is a magic spell that you can use every day in your life to, in, that is magical in so many ways. And his affirmations clearly are very powerful. And he, um, so he talks about gratitude as a feeling and as a sensation and provides exercises on finding the components of the experience of aliveness and gratitude. And what I found just in reading the book and then quickly trying some of these, these exercises, it gave me some distinctions on the feelings that I use, which is important for people that are wanting to manifest their realities. We talk about Neville Goddard all the time in the reality revolution. And one of my favorite books is the feeling is the secret. And in this particular book, he's giving you ways to create those feelings by mixing in gratitude and using ways to ask questions about how you feel in your body, in your mind, and gives examples on neuroscience, differentiating the limbic system and the neurocortex. And I found this very interesting and well-researched and powerful. And he has some exercises on expanding awareness that were really well-written. And I, some of this is, is stuff that I cannot wait to use. And the exercises just get better and better. This is at the beginning of the book. And some of the ways that he describes this are fantastic. Uh, He goes into the common things that we talk about on the podcast, but gives his own take, being, breath, and awareness. And he, again, talks about living with radical gratitude and gives a concentration meditation, an open awareness meditation that is fantastic and a grateful awareness. His description of consciousness is well done. And I just, we try all the time to talk about the the law of attraction, about reality transurfing. And one of the most difficult things that I have found in coaching this 
in teaching it to my friends and talking about it on this podcast and on these videos is creating a feeling that you want to have in the future. When you create a feeling, you start to have outward events in the outside world reflect back onto you that create those feelings. It's really an amazing thing. And that is one of the most powerful ways to use this technique. This technique is is like an artist with a paintbrush. It is you mix in the reds and the browns and the greens and the blues and the, all of the different shades and hues. It's not a specific thing that anybody can do. You become a gra- an artist when you manifest and you start to play with the laws of the universe. And so this book, what it did is, is it really filled in an, a space that I've been looking to fill in and understanding how to use gratitude when somebody has been through this and has literally used gratitude to reduce and eliminate a brain tumor it's unbelievable and so i think you can really learn a lot if you're struggling with being grateful or understanding how to create feelings in your body i really recommend these books as he says one of his affirmations i am grateful to be experiencing such a beautiful body he talks about he has very good medical knowledge. Uh, he talks about he talks about physics in these books. He gives great sites, great studies that are very relevant to what he's talking about. He talks about the placebo effect and epigenetics. He has a good discussion on how we are we have stuff that's passed through our our genes all the way to us, spontaneous remissions, and his exercises on loving the whole body. One of my favorite exercises in this book. He talks about going to the beach and literally screaming out his gratitude for 45 minutes. Something I've done similar. I've done it on hikes when I'm alone or in a situation where nobody can hear me. And the way he describes it, it it is very powerful. And he has some... If you're having a problem, finding things to be grateful for or expressing your gratitude in a proper way, then this is the book that will describe how to use your gratitude prescription. And I'm prescribing to you to be grateful and that's my prescription and this is one way that you can enhance it is get the book gratitude prescription love your neat unique life i came out of this really feeling so excited to be alive and grateful for every breath and loving being alive and really connecting to an identity beyond myself He talks about the hero's journey and becoming the hero in your journey. He has a great exercise about just going through and describing your story in a way in which you're the hero and allowing 30 minutes to go through this, something similar to what I've done, but a very powerful journaling technique. He, he brings in some neuroscience into this with different, with some of the exercises that he's talking about. And I just can't recommended enough so it really felt like after that i had come away from this book i felt uh uh, to really focus on my creative powers about changing my mindset to always being the master over the victim and i you know i'm definitely going to be integrating these affirmations in into my everyday affirmations the future affirmations that you i use with my meditations He has a really fascinating and very well-written article on finding gratitude in struggle and suffering and transcending the limitations of the ego mind and explaining to you why you you suffer and what you think is suffering isn't really suffering and, and, and separateness and changing the way that you think about life so that you become a creator instead of just an observer. And so, yeah, some, some great life review exercises that he recommends, but he has a very good chapter on suffering and how you can find gratitude in suffering this, uh, his radical gratitude process, which he has in, in the book is you select an issue or emotion or circumstance that you feel stuck with and you wish to explore. And then you accept that you do not know what it truly means or whether it's good or bad. And then you ask, what's the opportunity here? And and you ask, what's the gift within this difficulty? And then you ask, if I had somehow created this to evolve and grow greater capacities, what are they? 
And these questions, how does it feel to create a gift, opportunity, and growth, alchemizing bad stuff into gold? And how is your life now enhanced? This, this is a really good exercise with very, very specific questions that can guide you into a way of changing your thinking. And so if you are suffering and you're having problems finding gratitude, then this is going to give you that bridge that's going to that's going to combine those elements and find you a way to find gratitude and suffering. It may just simply be all it takes for you to overcome whatever kind of problem that you're having and the shift in thinking will start to be reflected in your outside world. He emphasizes taking a cosmic view and, and goes into some deeper truths. He talks about existence and, and it gets very deep as the book goes along but he gives reminders on how things that you can be grateful with and how to deal with paradoxes that you can still be grateful grateful with and i just found it very uplifting it helped me to think about the, the world and how i wanted to help other people find gratitude and to express the, the documentation and research behind the power of a gratitude mindset and how it can heal you and it can heal humanity and if we can get this message out that we choose to be grateful even in tough circumstances we can really change the world and i'm telling you now it's a very simple solution but it's something that you need to focus on and that is to be grateful and if you find this vector of gratitude incredible things are going to happen for you and we have a choice any moment or circumstance we give meaning to our thoughts we choose our reality and there's a script that we choose and we have a way of choosing this and by choosing the advantage of the situation by finding gratitude in it we can have great things gratitude allows us to be reminded of and see clearly the good of life that we might otherwise overlook it helps us see how much life is in fact helping us as he explains, gratitude is discovered to be a journey into the body and into the pure peace of present moment awareness. We feel grateful in, in the body here and now. Indeed, we can feel grateful for the body here and now, including its aches, pains, and endlessly changing sensations. So if you're out there and you're struggling and you have been diagnosed with something or you're struggling with something, I'm just asking you, find some gratitude. And if you're telling me, how can I be grateful? I got all these bills and I got all this stuff that I have to go through and I don't see the point of it. There is a point. There's, you chose this. I know that's tough to hear. But this time around, you can find the gift of the knowledge and experience that you can have with whatever is going on. And when you do, there's an incredible likelihood that whatever you're going through will go away it will literally just disappear because this gratitude gives you energy and, and and it also helps to unlock energies that we have in our body so i just just hat tip to will pie for writing this i think it's a big game changer it's our goal on the reality revolution to change reality for everybody and better to take us in a pendulum of love, peace, and happiness. And we can do that by finding gratitude. And when you go out and find people that have been in tough situations, like Will Pye, and you, that, that have overcome brain cancer with, with tumors the size of golf balls, can you imagine? Can you imagine laying down to sleep? And, 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 and I don't want you to imagine, but I'm just saying what he went through and then to take that golf ball sized tumor and to make it go away in the right process and to not have it come back by using the power of gratitude is incredibly powerful. But it sounds cliche and simplistic and it's not. There is some subtlety to this practice and these exercises and meditations that he's providing in these books are powerful and effective. So as he gives, you know, uh, the gratitude can help us to 
increase our happiness and boost enthusiasm, optimism, joy, and pleasure. It can reduce anxiety and depression. It can strengthen our immune system, help us sleep better, increase our resilience, promote stronger social bonds. It can help our children experience greater happiness. We can focus on gratitude and the gratitude will spread like a virus throughout the world. And one way we can do that is by embracing teaching on gratitude. So if you're out there and you want to find gratitude and you're struggling with that, and then I, I just tell you, read these books, just the process and experience of reading these books gave me greater gratitude and a better understanding how to embrace and enrich the gratitude in my life. So I can't wait to interview them. Hopefully you guys will check out that interview and we'll learn as much as we possibly can on this delicate process and can't wait. So I hope everybody gets a chance to read these books or hope that I was able to bring some message that I, that I got from reading these books to you so that it can transform you. Embrace gratitude. Include it at the beginning of your day. Include it at the end of your day. It is key. And just think about it. Just think about it. If you have kids, if you if you have one kid that comes to you and says, thank you so much. I am so grateful. Thank you so much. You have this feeling in the back of your head, this feeling in your heart that says, Hey, I, I want to give them more of that because I really like it when they're grateful. And then somebody else comes along and you, you might give them something and eh, they don't say anything about it. You might have that part of you that says, well, I really don't want to give them anymore. I guess they didn't really like it. So imagine if God, source, whatever higher power that works for you, whatever that you've accepted, maybe it's just your father or mother or parents, or there's some figure, whatever, whatever, whoever that is. If you show gratitude, they're going to be more willing to give you more. And, and, and also it's the signature feeling for the thing that you want having been accomplished and if you can ride that wave and and maximize that gratitude in your body and mind and spread it out and stretch it out for as long as you can incredible things can happen for you and one great way to learn about this is through these books so i will be providing a link for these books the amazon link so check those out or you can look them up on amazon Again, it's The Gratitude Prescription by Will Pye and Blessed with a Brain Tumor as well. And you'll find both of those. They're terrific, fantastic, and wonderful. So I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I hope it's wonderful. And I hope that you're grateful right now. And I am so grateful to share this message with you that you're listening Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the podcast. Spread the word. Let everybody know there's a revolution right now and that we can change reality for the better. And if we do this together, we can choose love over peace. We can have incredible things happen. Anything is possible when we embrace the power of our minds to change and affect reality. If you'd like to get coaching, you can always reach me at media at advancedsuccessinstitute.com. If you want any episodes of The Reality Revolution, check out therealityrevolution.com. We have transcripts for all of these episodes. And you can find the link to the podcast and YouTube videos for every episode that we've talked about. And I love your feedback. Join my Facebook group the reality revolution where we talk about this stuff. And I would love to talk about this stuff. How do you bring gratitude into your life? What are the secret tips that you use? And we want to share this with, and we want to learn this. So come to, come to the group, drop me a line. Let me know. Welcome to the reality revolution.